Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, David Coons. Uh, from, uh, I work for CART. Uh, I live in uh, Grand Junction, Colorado. And uh, my first, uh, I've been mapping for a little while, but this is my first day of the map. And this has been uh, an awesome experience. And I met some lovely people. And uh, you guys are a great community now that I have to put some faces with some names and stuff that I've seen online. and. Uh, so I'm, I'm grateful to be here and to talk to you a little bit about what I've been doing uh, with CART. And um, so as I was, I don't know if any of you uh, caught the, the talk yesterday by Kiana, um, who, who is a coworker of mine, and uh, talking about kind of some of the overall things that CART does in, around the world. And when I first started with CART, that's what I did. And then um, <clears throat> in... Uh, uh, 20 or in March of this year, I was approached uh, by by my bosses, and and uh, they gave this uh, wanted to see if I would be interested in this project uh, about destination tagging uh, on the motorway level here in the United States. And they told me that uh, there hadn't been really a comprehensive look uh, at this level in the motorway system here in the United States, and and for having to do with routing and finding destinations and things. Um, so I started in uh, March 19th, and I, I looked on on, I, uh, on Wednesday, and uh, so I've, of the 50 states, I've, I've uh, worked through 13 of them, and I've affected over 11,000 roads. So there's, uh, they were right. There's a, there's a lot of work that needs to be done uh, with routing in, in our motorway system, and, uh, and that's what I've been doing. So when I was first given this project, uh, and as I've gone through the work that I've done, uh, some common uh, uh, wiki tools that I use with the destination tags, uh, exit information uh, was, is I, I use on a daily basis, and uh, the, the United States road system tagging system for routes uh, uh, is a great one. It gives all the banners that are on the sides of the highways uh, and, and motorways that we use to help to um, uh, recognize in the imagery what I'm actually looking at. And uh, uh, for instance, uh, uh, Ohio has a very similar state road sign that is uh, close to looking to uh, the US highway shield that goes up there. And sometimes when some of that blurry imagery or where the weather was kind of bad, uh, it, uh, it gets tough to tell the difference, but uh, you'd have to try to find it. And then um, the proposed features tag, um, that one is uh, one I use on a daily basis as well, having to do with destination symbols tagging. And, um, uh, and then the, the one at the bottom that is a great article, and I give a big uh, thumbs up and appreciation to the Mapbox people for that, that excellent article at the bottom. Uh, that, that's really got me started on uh, on the best way to do this and how to uh, look at an intersection and then using this mapillary and open street cam and Bing Maps is what, what I've been using as imagery to help to uh, find this destination tagging. So as I go in, this is basically how I break down an image when I get to uh, a, an off ramp uh, for uh, at a particular point. Um, so these these two outer uh, signs are kind of I'm not I don't tem tend to deal with because what I'm I'm mostly concentrating on in, in my project is is the actual exit itself. So when I see this here, sorry, there's a, gl a little bit of a glare. I have to move this a little bit. Um, so you have the East uh, East Hartford would uh, would be your destination sign would be your destination tag. And then you have uh, Connecticut Boulevard. Anything that has an avenue, street, place, way, drive, uh, gets a destination colon uh, street tag. Uh, and then you have your destination route, uh, which would be 44 East, US Highway 44 East. Um, and then you have your uh, exit, the actual exit number, which would be 53. And, um, and so there on the node, you would have uh, your two reference points of being the the highway destination or highway junction, and then also the reference number of 53, and then that motorway junction, the the way that leads to it would get the the reference tag of junction reference, um, and then there's also 
extra things like uh, surface types that I can add, that you would add to it, uh, number of lanes for an exit, also the uh, um, ma uh, max speed advisory sign. And then you can see in the back of the image there, there's some more information there that as you proceed down the exit, uh, that's something that I would look into and, uh, and to help to, uh, in that fork that goes further on to help to dissect the image. Um, so here is, is another image in Connecticut. This one's a little different because you have these, these two signs, so you would actually, I would actually work those signs putting destination lanes tags on there because of the, the, the solid striping there. You don't have the hash marks like you do uh, on the other side of the image. So you'd have the two lanes designated going to Boston which and I-84 East. And then you'd have the one leading to the Bradley International Airport. Uh, it gets its own lane. And then uh, looking at um, the other sign here, uh, you would I could you would break those down into destination lanes as well because each lane will eventually get you to uh, either 48A or 48B. But the, what's what you would tag here and as you're tagging these destinations is that that node there would actually receive 48, not 48A or B. And I've seen that a lot. Uh, people mistagging uh, some of the past editors have mistagged it. It's just small things that need to be fixed. And then from that point on. Uh, you know, the way would receive junction reference 48 to help with as you get off the off ramp, that routing software can know that once you get to node 48, that uh, this way is, is related to that. And then you can see off in the distance there that tag. And so, what I did is um, I, I went down the freeway a little bit further so you could see in, and uh, those two signs there give you, you have Asylum Street. But there's uh, some additional information that the other sign doesn't give you that you also can get to a railroad station and the bus station as well. And so uh, when you get to those two nodes and, and the ways beyond, beyond them, then you would add that additional information once you get past that point. What tag do you use for that? Uh, so actually, though, there's not an actual, I would use mostly a destination tag because I don't have, there's not a, in the wiki, there's nothing there to denote or uh, like a destination symbol sign. So I would use a destination, just a, a destination equal, uh, equals uh, railroad station or destination equals bus station. So you could use semicolons in between. So you, and then you would have destination street for asylum street and then destination railroad station semicolon destination or semicolon bus station. On the way, there's. I'll get into it about the about the what what would actually go on a node here coming up, uh, actually in this slide right here. So every node, each node needs its own uh, way, and uh, according to the wiki, so you have uh, when you come up to a, a, a bifurcation in the road, a fork in the road, um, you have, for instance, uh, like here going to the the Pittsburgh airport, um, you'd have the on the node itself, according to the wiki, you would have just um, highway equals uh, motorway junction. And then the other tag that is a legal tag is reference equals. So here it would be reference equals 1A semicolon 1B. But you can also add to, to help to note the route for the routing uh, uh, so that the, so you can be routed correctly, you can use the tags reference colon left is 1A and right is 1B, or vice versa over here. I found one in Michigan with 170 A, B, and A. Uh, so that would actually be on the node itself. The way past it, so on the, on the way past this node, you would have uh, junction reference 1A, and then you would put it to Beaver and I-376 West, and then the other way would be Airport Pittsburgh, I-376 East, and then junction reference uh, 1B. So it all references back to that node so that the routing software knows that when it gets to that point, this way is to Beaver, this way is to the Pittsburgh Airport. Uh, so there's a lot going on here, but in the scope of my project, I'm really only concerned with these two signs um, because, like I said, I'm, I'm dealing mainly with uh, routing, getting you off onto the proper exits. Um, and so 
the, the larger sign going into, going into Atlanta there is you have Birmingham, uh, that would be a destination lane tag. So you'd have Birmingham, Bar, uh, Augusta, and then you would also have uh, destination reference lanes, and then uh, what is that, 20 west, Bar, 20 east. And then you'd have that junction reference back to 247, I think is what that number is. Sorry, my glasses have a huge glare on them. Um, and then you don't get them every once in a while, but the HOV lanes do have exits. And uh, so that would be tagged as destination street uh, equals Memorial Drive. And then, uh, then it would be an HOV exit. One thing I have done, learned in the, uh, the 13 states that I've, that I've worked in is and you may have known this, but I didn't, is that in the U.S. highway system, if the 247 is on the right side of the sign, that means your exit sign is going to be on the right. If your 240, and the other one is, if it's on the left side of the sign, that means your exit's going to be on the left. I didn't know that. So it's kind of a, a visual cue you can give your, you can look at. So wherever that number is, is the side of the, the highway that you're going to exit off on. Um, so you can see here, what I'm, what I, what I'm showing you here is the, the varied types of highway signs that you see. Um, some of them can be as simple as this one here, exit 1E with, uh, to 17th Street. Uh, and then you've got this one here to uh, Proctor and West Rutland and with uh, destination references and destination references to uh, it, it all varies, but the, the, the point is is that uh, whatever is on the sign is, what, is only what goes on the way past the node. Um, uh, I'll, a little bit later in my talk, I, ha I have some, some thoughts about that. But, uh, and then once you get to, you can see those, the 1B and 1A there, they're on the left side of the sign. So that coming up here, those are going to be left exits. And uh, so you have these references and references to. Um, so there's there's a lot of different variations across the across the country and and some of them are they give you a lot more information than others just depending on uh, what it is you come up to. Another thing that I've run into here it, going across is and uh, I've made a a couple of early mistakes but I've uh, got some feedback and figured it out is that um, just because the sign says one thing on one side of the highway doesn't mean you can, I, have, I don't do this, but you can't copy and paste and put it over on the other exit because they don't always say the same things. Um, here going into the uh, Orlando airport, you have the airline, the aircraft symbol for the symbol sign. Uh, you have exit 205 AB leading you to Port Canaveral in Orlando. And then these, those two, that toll road and that, high, that state highway for, for Florida. Um, but on the other side, the, it's split into two exits, and here you have is, uh, 205B is where you'll actually get to the airport. So you can't apply them to both tags, and um, it's uh, a, a, a common mistake that I've found that, that people make as they're, as they're mapping something. You just kind of get into a, a groove, and you're just like, well, if it says it on this side, it's probably going to say the same thing on the other side. Sometimes they order the, state, the, the towns that they may go different, that come different if... Uh, as you approach them, they always go from left to right, it, the, the way the highway system goes. Uh, another uh, tag that's often tagged incorrectly is I found that down there at the bottom, exit 25 miles per hour, anytime you see a yellow sign, uh, that's actually not the, the speed limit of the sign of, of the exit, that's a uh, speed limit advisory, max speed colon advisory. Uh, that one gets tagged as the max speed all the time, and so as you as you do those exit signs, that if it shows yellow, it's just an advisory, not the actual stated uh, max speed. So that's another thing we can look out for as we as we uh, tag those exits. Um, so here, I, I this is kind of a an interesting thing I found that as I go through some of the older imagery, um, the this is what they would be a destination colon symbol. Uh, as you come up to these exits, you've got a lot of different things like food, phones, gas. Uh, if, the, if the gas pump has a little D in it, means that there's diesel at that exit. Lodging, uh, state police. Uh, the question mark is actually an information building, so where you can go and get maps or find out about the area. Um, but here in the United States, uh, we are getting away from that. 
Uh, you're, uh, you're seeing that on the older imagery, but within, I would say, the last eight to 10 years or so, uh, the US highway system is getting rid of those signs, and they're going to these. Uh, they're starting to sell ad space, and uh, some of them give you directions and distance too. Uh, it's a much, uh, I feel it's a much cleaner system. You can kind of see what, what's coming up ahead, especially with the arrows. When you're coming into an area you don't know about, and sometimes the exits can be have lots of trees or maybe have some uh, topography that doesn't, you know, if there's sign restrictions for, for businesses that only allow the signs to be so high. And, you know, some of these places, like where I live out west, you, get, you can see the sign off because the things are like 60 feet up in the air, you know, and you know there's a mobile station or something. But uh, some of them don't allow you to have that, and so these signs tell you that... Uh, uh, what's coming up and so these are the new destination symbol signs that you have food and gas and lodging and things like that um, and the wiki I uh, I feel it, it doesn't it doesn't show that it's it, it shows the the previous slide of what those symbols are and I think we as a, as a community need to take a look and maybe talk about how we can update the uh, proposed destination sign or the destination symbol signs uh, in the United States to show that, that change in the U.S. highway system. So I think that needs to be looked at and updated. Good. Yeah. <laughs> How the best way to do it, though, is that's why I want to talk about it. But, um, and then the other recommendation is, is uh, that I've noticed is, so uh, like here you see exit 192 and exit 376A. Those are the signs that I use to give my destinations. But you can see the other signs have the same exact exit numbers, but they come 50, 100 yards, 200 yards down the road. It's additional information, but it's not what's on the actual sign. And, uh, but they're useful. It's useful information. Uh, you know, like I think families would want to go to the Newport uh, Aquarium, or you would type in, you know, get me to the North Kentucky Convention Center or if you're moving to an area and you now work for the Department of Energy or going to the Oak Ridge National Lab, those are the types of things that people would search for, but they're not actually gonna be on the way. Um, maybe there's another way we can have a, we can look at like destination colon uh, minor attraction or secondary attraction or something like that, something that we can use to help to get this information on those ways so that uh, people can search for those things, but uh, because it's kind of beyond the scope of, of uh, what the way should actually say, there's no actual tag or wiki for that kind of information. Um, so along with those symbols, I think, you know, it's a, another discussion I think we can, we can have and, and come to a, uh, an agreement on and what we should do. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, if, if there's uh, any questions, I'm open to take them. So she's asking you use it, using proposed tags and instead of so updating the wiki and making them stop not being proposed and to them being an actual tag. Um, are, are you meaning like the like uh, which proposed tags and? Oh, yeah. Um, no, I have not. I've. I've just, I've been chugging along trying to get, get through this and I haven't really ever attempted that before. So it seems a little uh, intimidating to, to go out there and do that. But um, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I had never really thought about that before, but that's a, something I could look into. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, I've never try, thought about or trying to take those steps. It's, uh, uh, it's a good idea. I'll take that as a suggestion. Yeah, 
Yeah, I knew, yeah. And that, that's one of those ones where, yeah, it doesn't have a lot of common support, but it's a really common usage. It, it gets used a lot here that I've seen here in the United States. A lot of people used it and um, I haven't got, I haven't gotten anything back of anybody saying that uh, that I've done it wrong or, or that it needs to be changed. Um, uh, yeah, like before, it's a maybe we can make it more more used more uh, here. But uh, when you start working on this uh, in March of this year. Great. Anybody else? Thank you. 